All right, what's up, guys? So, Twitchly has uploaded a video titled How a Psycho Ruined This Streamer's Career. Yeah, there's some stream or uh, streamers fans um, where, yeah, you know, they just kind of take things a little bit too far out. And, um, no, it's like, the thing is, is this, you know, I guess, like, you can't really tell a weird person to stop being weird because in their eyes, they're not going to see themselves being weird. They're being normal. No, like, I've dealt with people like that myself where it's like they'll join my stream. But usually it's just, you know, a hater trying to portray to be a fan and then, you know, just trying to get some personal information out of you and things. And, um, no, like, I've had some weird people join my stream before. I think probably the weirdest was... The dude, he was, it, it was, it, but again, you know, came from, like, the whole, like, t Moss Boss hater universe and things, and yeah, was just overall trying to stir up trouble and stuff every time he joined the stream, so, but, um, yeah, you know, there's just at times where I just think that, like, look, people, they're not doing anything to you, like, I think they said it's about that, uh, streamer, um, Amorant, I think that's how you pronounce her name, I don't know, but anyways, no, nah, I just think that it's like, you know, it's people out there where it's like, hey, look, you know you're being weird. Stop it, okay? Like, there's no reason. And just the amount of times where I know there's just going to be people where they, well, no, they have. They have defended, you know, their weirdness. And I'm like, bro, there's no defense for it. You know, ruining a Twitch streamer's career or their lives, whatever. It's like, no, nah, there ain't no reason for that. There's no excuse for that. So it's like, bro, stop carrying on like that, but anyways uh yeah guys if you haven't make sure you go subscribe to twitch lee for more videos like this and then that being said the past seven years twitch streamer amaranth has been in an abusive relationship with her husband who controlled her finances and forced her to create content mm. during a live stream phone call her husband verbally abused her and threatened completely in the left field with this one i do remember when this um uh this story did go about when uh yeah there was like all this stuff got leaked out about her um I, I would assume now her ex-husband, but I mean, in, you know, I, all right, so yeah, to like, I guess like switch gears, talk on something else, you know, I, I just think that regardless of how you feel about that person, because I, I just think that, yeah, whoever that dude was had to been like on some like Andrew Tate type mindset and things, or he like, oh, I got to control my women and do all this. That's not how a marriage should be. So I'm like, to whoever her husband, ex-husband is, I'm like, bro, you really need to sit down and reevaluate how you treat a woman. You know, it's like, it, it shouldn't take somebody that, and I feel like that you were in such a good situation. Like, you had to have seen that you were in such a good situation where it's like, yeah, you know, do your own thing, make your own money, all that stuff. But it's like, if that doesn't work out where it's like, okay, like you struggle with holding a job or, you know, you can't find a good job. It's like, if you have a woman that is literally there and she is okay with like taking care of you and things like, bro, you literally could have went out and became a content creator yourself. But like, it, it, it just, it confuses me where it's like people have such a good thing going and then they ruin it. I, I don't I don't get that. I'm not saying that, you know, he should have been living off of his woman. But all I'm saying is that, like, you had a good lifestyle. Why ruin it? You see what I'm saying? It's like, it just doesn't, that don't make no sense to me. Threatened her dogs. What are you saying to me? Because I, are you even listening? You just said something really fucking mean. Oh, yeah, I did. Because you didn't, did you even listen to what I said? That's crazy. Why did you say you were going to kill dogs? This video will discuss wow. the situation and contains a content warning for domestic abuse. Support hotlines for That's why I like I I encourage wait what happened? Welcome to Twitch the I I was trying to pause it, but I was like, that's why I encourage women out there, take some, like, fighting classes. You know, I'm not saying to just, like, uh, you know, abuse your significant other for whatever reason, but, like, when they threaten things like that, like, nah, judo flip that man across the ground, punch him in his face, it'd be all like, you gonna do what to my dogs? Like, literally put fear in this man's eyes. Like, no, that's something where I, I have thought about, and I think I've said it before in either videos or podcasts, um, but, um, no, I'm like, if, like, so the thing is, is this. Let's say I get into a relationship, but things don't work out. I, I would like to hope and think that it would end off on good terms. And I'm like, I just, the thing is this. I'm not saying I'm one of those guys, but I know how guys can be just based off of stories that I've heard. And I'm like, I will, I'm definitely going to be all like, hey, look, if things don't, as soon as we get into the relationship, we're like, hey, look, if things don't work out between us, I'm not saying that they're not, but all I'm saying is like, you know, let's say if, I become crazy busy with my content creating career. You become crazy busy with your content or 
career if she, but if she is a content creator that'd be dope um uh, but uh no like if you get busy with your career and then we end up just having to break things off i'm like i'd strongly recommend that you take up like a kickboxing brazilian jiu-jitsu kung fu the stuff that bruce lee knew i'm saying like just just take up some sort of fighting class so like in case if you meet a guy he's trying to take advantage of you and be all crazy and aggressive and controlling like nah straight judo flip that man on the ground punch him in the side of his face and let him know like hey Hey, look, none of that's gonna be happening here. All right, I will hurt you, sir. <laughs> so, but anyways, all right, getting back to the video. Create weekly Twitch documentaries, and today we'll be looking into the downfall of Amaran. Amaran, a Twitch streamer, cosplayer, lonely stance model, and YouTuber who's often criticized for earning a living by showing her body and taking advantage of her Sims. Amaran claims to make around 1.5 million per month, which Dang. is an incredibly lucrative business model. To put it into perspective, that's about 18 million a year, which is similar to the salary of an that's idiot crazy. CEO. However, Amaranth has faced mental, emotional, and physical challenges due to her career, revealing its yeah. dark side. Amaranth, whose real name is Caitlin Siragusa, started streaming on Twitch in 2016. Initially focused on costume design, she transitioned into the IRL section and began revealing her body, which led to increased donations and backlash. Yeah. Throughout her career. Yeah, I think you know with like with that side of Twitch, I'm like, cause I just I I don't know, like I don't want to say anything ill feelings towards it, but it's just you know it's just crazy to see that like you know just. And I'm like, I just, I, I don't know, man. I'm like, it, it's one of those things where I'm like, I, I would like for somebody to explain, like, what, like, not saying that, you know, I'm pretty sure she adds some sort of, like, entertainment to her streams and stuff, but I, I just, I don't know. Like, the times where I've went, I've only watched, like, maybe a few seconds, and I'm like, all right, that's enough. I'm like, you know, it's, it's one of those things where I'm like, all right, that's seeing what I need to see. I'm like, if that's what the stream is, maybe I just need to stay in it a little bit longer, but if not, then I'm like, yeah, bro, I just, I don't get it, you know? It's it's just, it's a weird thing, but anyways. Here, she's faced several controversies and Twitch bans, and her Instagram remains banned as of this video's creation. Oh, Amaranth's wow, that's crazy. Her controversies include allegations of hiding her marriage for financial gain. In a 2021 interview with Ethan Clean, Amrith denied being married, claiming she was married to her work. Are you? Oh, what's wow. your like personal life like? Are you married? Are you uh, living? I'm married to my work, really. I don't really do anything else. Like this, I live and breathe. And I, 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 okay. So the thing is, is this. I get that. I, I 100% get that. And that's something where I'm like, I guess, like, if I was in that situation where I was in it, because it was like, yeah, you'll never know. It's like, yeah, I'm saying this in a video, but it's like, bro, I could be married with like 15 kids. That's a just, all right, that's a little bit too many kids. All right. So, but no, I'm saying, like, I, I understand why, because not like people can just, bro. I've had it where, like, friends of mine have been harassed and stuff um, because of, like, content creating, where it's like, you know, yeah, if somebody has some sort of ill feelings towards you, yeah, I had it, I've dealt with it where it's like people have went out, like, I've had friends reach out to me and be all like, hey, Tyler, who is this guy? I'm like, I'm sorry, you know, it's just, it's one of those things where it's just, yeah, you know, it, I think it's okay for a content creator to have a, um, a private life and things, you know, where they're not putting a personal business out there like that, because no, it's like, it's either somebody will go out of their way looking for it, or they will, yeah, stumble upon, or yeah, or, or like, ask you about it, you know, so it's either they'll, like, either, you know, just something where it's stupid, and I'm like, bruh, I'm like, I'm like, let, let's just focus on the entertainment, you know, factor of content creating my personal life. If I want to talk about my personal life, I will, I will decide. I will make that choice. You do not need to worry about my personal life. So, but anyways. Eat content. Someone told me you were married. So I guess that's not true. Just today in my chat, people told me we were married. So why is chat saying, people are saying you're dodging the question of if you're married or not. No. Like, I just, I don't have time for that kind of thing What? Right it's now. so weird. This is so confusing. Mm. Chat, everybody's convinced that you're married. In June 2018, YouTuber Al of the Day exposed Amaranth's marriage to Nick Lee, fueling further speculation wow. about her motives and personal. See, and it's, it's stuff like that where I'm like, bro, why is you so... My, you know, I, I remember there was a time where me and a friend of mine... So let me just make sure I'm in the camera shot. Okay, so... But, um, no, like, I remember there was a time where me and my friend, we were wanting to look up. This is, like, I think when we, we might have, we might have either been in high school or just graduated high school. Regardless, 
Um, but no, I do remember where me and him had wanted to see what H2O Delirious looked like. And as the time, like, prog- like went on and things, I got older and stuff, like, he might not remember, but I remember. And I was like, because, though, it's something where I was like, you know, I, I think it was something that was like catching my eye like i was paying attention to i'm like i wonder what he does look like now it's gotten to a point where i'm like bro i i could go my whole life without knowing what h2o delirious looks like i'm not gonna care i'm not gonna it's not gonna matter to me to make a full-blown video out of it yeah it's it's one of those things where it's just if look if that man doesn't want his face to be shown he doesn't want his face to be shown so it's like i i don't get why people do those types of videos where it's like let that streamer or content creator come out and say whether they're married or not it should not be up to you to make that choice so i i I do think that that's a little bit messed up but anyways life it was speculated that amaranth kept her marriage a secret to attract more donations from fans who believed they had a chance with her however marriage records indicate that she is indeed married to nick lee fueling further speculation about her motives and personal life that's crazy unfortunately the secret marriage was also not a good marriage which led to huge drama on the internet and revealed its dark side Amaranth was playing Overwatch 2 when she received a phone call and spent an hour and a half off screen talking to someone with her Dang. mind muted. When she returned, viewers could hear her husband berating her. It's like, bro, first off, I'm like, lower your tone. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know who you yelling at, but you're gonna have to calm down on this. So I, I don't know. I guess, like, just from how I was raised and, you know, how I grew up, it's like, yeah, do you, when, if that ain't your parent yelling at you, because if it's my parent yelling at me like that, then I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna have to sit there and accept it. If you're not, ble- even if you're, if you are blood, like, let's say, like, oh, so you're saying a cousin can, no, there is nobody except my parents, okay, that can yell at me like that. If you are anybody else, I'm going to check you and be like, fam, is you good? I'm like, because I'm about to hang up the phone and get back to this Overwatch game. So I'm like, nah, you you going to have to relax on that. That's crazy. I'm like, nah, I just, yeah, I just think that, you know, at times it's like, if the only, re- the only reason why you should have like that level of like tone with somebody is if you're joking around and just say like arguing about something like that, where obviously she ain't going to be crying like she's going to be laughing about it, you know? So like, yeah, we yelling about like, a a good movie or a bad movie or whoever and whatever and stuff like if it's something that we can joke around and laugh about that's why that's the only reason why you should be yelling at a person like that to be angry nah that's crazy that is crazy It's all like, bro, it's like, do you not hear? This is your wife, by the way. When you causing her to cry like that, it's like, are you sure you want to be married? I just, I don't know. Like, I can't, because I'm trying to think, like, the last time I had like that level, I I can hear like the level of anger that he's that he's on right now, and I think the last time I had like that level of anger like that where I was yelling years ago, and I look at it, it's like it's just dumb because I'm like, bro, like why did it even go down like that? So me personally, I'm just you know I I can't have. Uh, like no form of or just like no level of anger like that in my body i'm like nah i just you know i whatever the situation is i'm like it's yeah it's a probably it's an unfortunate situation of course but i'm like it cannot be that serious you know so i i don't know you know if it's it sounds like it might be on some stuff where it's just a miscommunication she might tell somebody something that he said he might have not said it and now that person confronted him on some stuff i probably yeah i probably would like all right i don't think i would like yell, but i definitely i probably would confront her and just be all like hey like whatever you told that person i didn't say that to them i'm like so you're gonna have to like at some point in time tell them that that you know you miscommunicated and things and if it's on some stuff where she's like i'm not gonna tell them then i'm like all right well if there's just no form of respect in the relationship then i'm leaving so i'm my thing is, is this 
in arguments i like i don't like actually throw like a haymaker but i just say like haymaker things to just get all the way straight to the end of the argument so i ain't gotta stand there for long periods of time just going back and forth about some random stuff and i'm like yeah i just i overall i just i'm like okay if this ain't gonna be established then i'm just gonna go to plan b and i'm gonna move on all right so but anyways seemed to have started earlier that day and might have involved him demanding her to stream longer hours or participate in a threesome. He screamed at her oh, wow. and accused her of making- Oh wow. Again, way off left- way in left field. I'm like, I thought I was thinking something, but that's crazy. Oh, this guy, man. I'm like, nah, that's just- that's one of those things where it's like, nah, uh- when a person is just way too controlling in a relationship like that, and I know it might be harder, for, uh, hard for a person to leave because no, I've like I've heard stories and situations where like exes, where it's like you leave, they carrying on like that, you leave them, then they want to like track you down, stalk you, do all this other things. Yeah, I'm like that's why it's like no, I I would recommend to like any you know woman out there, gain yourself like a male friend that also can portray as security. Maybe pre I prefer like go to a gym, just look, go to one of those guys where he's on one of those machines and he's just lifting some weights and then just he got veins just protruding out like on all just parts of his body and even know where veins can be at but um no like seriously just hire you some form of security i'm like stuff like that is needed in things because yeah if you got like some crazy ex no it's like yeah hire just hire some form of security where you know you could protect yourself at all times like i'm pretty yeah and i'm like her probably being one of the biggest streamers in the world um yeah she she could probably possibly afford uh some form of security and stuff so anyways can him seem crazy but she was more concerned about him threatening her dogs you're mean to every single fucking girl that's online right now you have all these followers you should be two times as much three times as much you should be at five x reviewers i'm like shut the fuck up and just let me enjoy my fucking stream <sighs> fucking can't deal with it anymore the, the threatening to fucking kill my dogs her husband began to yell, belittle, and gaslight her until she cried. He claimed that Amaranth and her assistant tried to swat him, but he said she called the police because he was getting physical with her while attempting to take her phones. He later admitted to lying and trying to tear down her empire. Throwing your stupid merch off the balcony, proceeding to ditch your stuff. You don't need the makeup or th or the the live you like the stream epic or the clothes, huh? Deleting social media in one minute. Buying options that expire and blasting the cash. About to shut down the bank account, your bank account too. Lag is terrible, stream is garbage. About to delete wow. Twitter in 30 seconds. If you don't call me, your phone's literally off, right? I'm just like. Amaranth revealed that That's the crazy. Was her husband, which wasn't publicly known. She didn't want to keep their relationship a secret, but her husband believed it would harm their business. He didn't realize he was on stream during the call, and his tone changed when he found out. <laughs> No, nah, it's too late. Too I've late. Been dealing with him being an asshole to me for years and just disappearing from stream for 12 hours at a time. A lot of times, he's like, "Why you got? Why you got?" I have to make up bullshit because you don't want to tell people about the, the fact that you fucking asshole to me for so long. <laughs> he just take me away from my stream and start arguing at me for 12 hours at a time. There's That's no crazy. Going to go 24, I'm gonna go 48. Like, yeah, you fucking asshole. Like, I deal with so much shit from you. Amaranth said he would often take her off stream to yell at her, and she had unsuccessfully pleaded for him to seek therapy. Her husband was very controlling of her business and constantly criticized her for not doing enough. He threatened to sell her horses if she didn't stream more or reach a certain viewer count. He also had access to- I'm like, bruh, he, he must have forgot that she's the talent. That's something where it's like, if you watch like any movie where it's focused on like the talent and the manager i bro just recently the elvis movie and i'm like you have to understand that and i just think that that's why like anybody the talent you know you should always be in control of all your stuff your money your organizations your like uh merch your streams your channels whatever it is that has your name tied to it okay your foundation literally the roots of whatever your career is all the way from the root all the way up to the top of the mountain you should have control in all of that stuff you should not leave that control in anybody if they want to pass off advice cool if they want to 
what go to best buy and get me another camera cool but when they start all like oh you are in control of the bank accounts the merch the channels the social medias all that stuff i'm like nah i'm like because you're going to deal with people like that where they're going to want to take advantage of you that's crazy but no i do i do recommend like no watch watch like the elvis movie watch the Stray Out of the Compton movie, where it's like, it's always the manager, well, in this case, the husband, but he probably, I, he might be like the manager on the side, I don't know, but anyways, um, but no, it's always like where it says, they think that they're so in control of that stuff, I'm like, who are they there for um to see? When we, when I start up a stream, when I post an Instagram photo, when I post a YouTube video, tweet, whatever, who who are the who are they there for? Are they there for you or are they there for me? See that's why in situations like this where it's like it's best for me to watch it because if I was on stream, yeah, I'm like we nah. It definitely wouldn't have been me crying. I definitely would have um probably kicked that person off their high horse and and reminded them. I'm like, bruh, they're not here for you. So you go ahead and do all that stuff. You best believe I'll take you to court. But I'm like, nah. It's like you have to understand that you are the side person. You're the person that it's like you know you're just there kind of holding the spotlight. So so they could see me it's like i'm not trying to sound arrogant but at the same time when a person's talking like that no you have to be arrogant towards them so all her bank account social media and two-factor authentic that's crazy sent to his phone she said their relationship changed when he became focused on money and wanted her life to revolve around content creation she felt like she was living in a fancy prison he threatened to waste her money on cryptocurrency and other things if she didn't follow his demands. Amaranth showed the damage he had done to her home, including breaking the door. I was locking the door, but he broke that too. And then they, then people wonder why when it's like, and I feel like there's gonna probably be some guy out there that like really has like genuine feelings for her, cares about her, loves her, wants to, you know, be there for her. And it's cause of like guys like that, where it's like, you literally ruin it for like the good, the good people in this world where it's like, they genuinely care about a person that she just kind of has like this this like proof like this vest where it's like she is uh, she doesn't want like none of her trust leaving out of her and stuff because no it's like you you dealing with people like that it's like yeah when they cause that level of pain it's like yeah you're not gonna want to like be cool with nobody and things you're gonna want to kind of try to keep quite like keep to yourself and just you know live out somewhere by yourself because i'm like yeah dealing with people like that i just the, here's here's what you know i guess because the video is gonna end at some point but before i because i want to say it now I do hope that, like, everybody that's dealt with somebody like this, whether it's the bare minimum or full maximum or even worse than a guy like this, like, I, I do hope that you find somebody in this world that, you know, actually cares about you and not cares, you know, about the things that you can do for them. And it's just, yeah, it's just people like that where it's just... Why? Well, like, why? Why are you? Why are you out here seeking relationships and stuff if that's how you're gonna be treating people? So, anyways... That's crazy. Best advice I can give that during my divorce my grandma gave. This too shall pass. Me. For me. And so I ran in here to call the cops and he literally kicked the door in. That's crazy. Broke, like this doesn't even have a hint anymore. Dream ended abruptly when her assistant asked if she had been taking her medication, leaving viewers concerned. Amaranth was safe after this dream and many content creators offered support and condemned her husband's actions. Some people criticized her for giving him so much control, but others defended her right to privacy. Yeah, the thing is, is this where it's like, you know, you know, and I, I can't necessarily criticize her. It's like, yeah, it's a mistake that she made, but it's like, it, I'm not gonna look at it as like, you know it's 100 her fault it's like she's not expecting her husband to be going crazy like that i don't think anybody is going to be expecting that where it's like they've been good to you probably he's probably been good to her since they've ever met since they started dating or even prior probably prior before they were dating and they were friends at one point and he's probably been like nothing but good to her and then she really got to see like his true colors and stuff and yeah, it's like nobody's not gonna be expected that. It's like you put your the thing is this nobody expects a person that you put all your trust into. You don't expect them to hurt you one day. So it's like one day you just look up, then you're just in one of the worst moments of your life. We've all been through it. I have to say I've been through it sadly. But yeah, it's like it's one of those things where it's just nobody expects that. So it, it's it's I, it's something where I'm like I can't be mad at her and stuff. And you know I know people are like oh you're probably a Morant fanboy or something. I'm not. I don't follow this girl on no 
social media. I heard of her, you know, I seen like some clips of her and stuff, but other than that, it ain't like I'm sitting there binge watching all her content and stuff and joining her streams, giving her thousands of dollars. I'm like, bro, I just, all I'm saying is that, you know, I'm doing this video, I guess, like if she ever does see it, then she sees it. But you know, if in case she doesn't, then there's people out there where it's like, if you are in a similar situation or you're afraid of being in a similar situation like this, I hope this video helps you, you know, in case where it's like, I, but like I said, learn Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, flip that person and just start hammering their head in and stuff. So he's the one calling the cops. And it's like, yeah, it's like at the end of the day, I'm like, I, I just, just know that you can't be out there doing that to people. Cause I'm like, that's, it's just, you don't really, the thing is, is this, cause I feel like that there's people out there where it's like, they think that it's okay to carry on like how the husband's carrying on. I'm like, all right. Do, do what you want to do. I guarantee and I promise you, you're going to come across somebody that's either going to put you in a hospital or take your life. If you want to be in that situation, then you very well go ahead. But I would strongly, strongly recommend just do good by people. That's it. That's all you have to do. But anyways, because I'm like, it has been situations. I, I know I like as soon as I'm pause, pause it. But there have been times and situations where it's like you hear, no with a story that you guys need to look up and that should just make all men and their privates scared look up the i think that girl's name is lorena bobbitt this girl was yeah she in a well and yeah in a similar situation had an abusive husband Let, let's just say this man almost had to pee sitting down at some point in time in his life but luckily due to doctors i think they you know were able to attach his manhood back in time but you know it, it would have been a situation where it's like people have been like bro i just seen you drink like two thing two three things of water it's like why why are you sitting down on why are you getting ready to go sit down in the toilet you didn't eat no food today he's like um i, I don't i don't want to talk about that right now i'm like you you want to have that conversation it's like they, you go right ahead but anyways in the relationship Amber <clears throat> has since regained control of her accounts and her That's husband good. is seeking help. She is also seeking legal and emotional help. In the aftermath of these revelations, the online community has rallied around Amarin, offering both emotional support <clears throat> and practical advice. As the dust settles, it is important to remember that while this incident unfolded in the public eye, many others face similar challenges in private. Bro, why can I not close this Fiji water bottle? Okay, there we go. From all walks of life, and it is crucial to remain vigilant in our support <clears throat> for victims and survivors. As Amaranth moves forward, she has expressed gratitude for the outpouring of support from her community. That's one of those like uh, keyboards, or like think they call it mechanical keyboard. The dangers of abusive relationships. In upcoming streams, she plans to share her experiences and the steps she's been taken to heal and regain control of her life. She hopes that by sharing her story, others who may be in a similar situation will find the courage to seek help and escape their own abusive relationships. To conclude, that's allowed. You could do shower streams, huh? With kindness and respect, both online and in our everyday lives. As we have seen in Emerald's situation, even the most successful and seemingly independent individuals can find themselves in vulnerable positions. Stay safe and let's continue to foster a supportive and caring online community for everyone. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's uh, situations like that, you know. It's it's good that you know she's in getting getting in a better place, but yeah, I'm like that should just be you know. A little bit of uh, advice to people out there. It's like, don't don't carry on like that ex-husband. But anyways, um, no, that was an interesting video. You know, uh, yeah, guys, make sure y'all sure go follow um, a uh, Amor Anthony. You know, show her some love and support. But yeah, make sure you guys go subscribe to uh, Twitch Lee for more content like this. Like, subscribe to me too, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.